What is up, folks? Damn, why did I start like that? Anywho. I don't even know where to begin this week's episode, because it goes from your iPhone saving pictures of your boobs to shit Trump's been doing to fuck season passes lately. You know, let's start with the fuck season passes lately, because that one's been kind of broken me. So, there's, t there's two specific season passes I want to talk about, and I've talked about what my feel on D DLC is before. Like I said, I don't hate it or love it. I think it depends on how it's done, but there's two season passes I want to talk about. One for DBZ Fighters and the Call of Duty one. Now, the DBZ Fighter one pisses me off for re for one reason one reason only. Because even if you buy the fucking special edition, even if you get the collector's edition of the game, which has like the statue and everything, season pass not included. Wait, what? You could do that? That's allowed? That's... So look at this year, I'm paying 100 and 120, so I'm paying 120, and I'm still not getting everything for this fucking game. Why? Why is this a thing? Like, I hate season passes, I really do, like... Shit, I can't even say because I bought the season pass of Breath of the Wild, but that was only 20 bucks. DBC's is 35. And, 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 and that doesn't even top it off, but you don't even get, even with a special edition, which is like 120 bucks, which includes like the Goku statue, an art book, I think, or some shit like this, you still don't get the full season, you still do not get the season pass with that. So, literally, I, I think it's like 100, and, so you can spend like 100, and, fuck, I think it's 120, 130, season pass 35, so with taxes, I think, you spend like 170 for, for a full game, think about that, you gotta spend 170 dollars to get a full fucking game. If not, if you don't do the special edition, then you gotta spend 60 for the game and 35. You still gotta spend 100, almost 100 bucks here, folks. You gotta spend 100 bucks to get a full fucking game. And that's gonna get. Like, like, I, I hate that. I, I hate that this is becoming a thing with the video game media, with video games lately. I hate the fact that companies can sit here so openly just gouges for our. Well, and. I, mean, I know the people complain about it, but nothing gets done. Nothing gets changed. It's just like, what the fuck's going on? And then, okay, okay, and that pissed me off, because I was actually amped up for DBZ Fighters. I thought this, oh, this should be a really cool game. Nope. Fucked it up. Fucked it up. And then, and then, oh, okay, this is the one that's, the, and, the, and this one. This one, right? Fucking this one. So, Call of Duty World War II, right? Anyone who knows me, I'm not, I don't like... Cod's become. I miss old school Cod, like Call of Duty 2, 3, and I like the Modern Warfare series. First block was okay, but anyways. Call of Duty World War 2 comes out, and I'm not gonna, I'm a little like, alright, you, you're kind of grabbing my attention right now. I'm curious. But, this is the kicker, right? Call of Duty World War 2. 60 bucks. Okay, fine, that's, that's, that's Cod price for you. I'm not really surprised. And my controller is dying. Okay, while you're doing that, and and quick side note: the reason why this battle looks familiar is because my PS4 decided to be stupid, not save a video for some other reason. So I had to use. I got to do this quick. So I got some. I got things I got to do today. Unfortunately, so I have to kind of do this quick. Anyways, back to my point of. Okay, so World War II Call of Duty, 60 bucks. Okay, what would season pass is going for? 50 fucking bucks. 50 bucks. And there's gonna be four DLC packs, so you know they're gonna be fifteen dollars each for sixty bucks all day. So literally, even the season pass, all you're doing is saving ten bucks. And granted, you're still saving money. Don't get me wrong, but we're getting to that point where the season pass is starting to cost as much as the game, and that's not okay. I'm sorry, it's not. I think that's complete bullshit, and I'm just gonna like have to you on this, but I, I, I. I I kind of wish season passes would disappear. I really do. Honestly, I really wish they do. Although, and I just <laughs> why? And the problem is with the casual market. The casual market's gonna buy into because they're gonna save money. It's like yeah, but no, season pass is gonna be sixty bucks. It's gonna be the same as the freaking DLC. So what's the point? So I'm just gonna leave, leave all that on that note because I'm just before I get more pissed. Although on a side note. Tide FG last recoded recode came out and holy shit I'm actually kinda amped to play this, but I'm working on Final Fantasy 15 right now and I got some other games I wanna work on, so I'm not gonna get to this yet. I don't know if I'm gonna get to this. I'm hoping eventually. Maybe my next day off I'll start it, but and then although one game that did really good this week is Super Mario Odyssey. 
which got 10 out of 10 from a lot of reviewers, and I can see why. It is a solid Mario game. Like, the, the platform and the throw in the hat, to the costumes, to everything Mario can take over, to how the worlds are very, they, they seem tiny, but you can explore everything. There's all these little secrets. To just, how that game is done in general is a really solid game, and it makes sense, and I love it. And I also give that game a 10. And freaking, I, I agree with the reviews on this. I think it's a solid game, and the replay value is definitely there. And I might go back to it. I don't know yet. I'm so kind of debating on that. So I will recommend to Mario for the Switch. I, t I mean, I know I might seem like a Nintendo fanboy or Nintendo fangirl, but please understand that I'm just doing that. But I'm also going to call Nintendo out, like on their whole micro SD bullshit. We've all seen that. Fucking 100 bucks for 64 gigs, folks. Not worth it in my eyes. Not really effing worth it. And I think it's kind of bullshit. But I'm just gonna leave it at that. And we also saw the price for 101 too, and that's a bullshit price too. So I'm gonna leave that there. Now, and then I actually want to give my condolences to the attack that happened in New York two days ago as I'm recording this, I believe, with the bicyclist getting hit, and the son of a bitch wanted to hang the ISIS flag in the hospital, and no. I, I, <sighs> listen, I understand that no one has the right to play God. No one should have that power. I, at the same time, am a believer of the death, of the death sentence. I do believe that if you commit a heinous crime or something like that, you're, I'm sorry. You're gone. You're getting death sentence. Like, now, obviously, to say who gets that say is hard because you know that person is how well that you don't know where that person's morals lie. So it's a very weird thing. I do think there is a certain point of like, jail, 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 death sentence, motherfucker. But that's just me. So. If this seems like a very hateful episode, just because this is just what kind of pisses me off. I need to get this out. So, and I need it. I'm just, I don't know. With everything going on, it just kind of leaves me in that mood of like, what the fuck, right? Now, I know we've had some victories against ISIS. There's just two ISIS strongholds I think we took out recently. I have to, I have to look it up so I don't take this too seriously. This part too seriously. Um, now. Trump did say the same thing about this guy from New York. He should get the death sentence. And people were like, oh, that sway the prosecutor. Well, that sway the judge. Unfortunately, it can, which at that point, the prosecutor for this son of a bitch can use that to fight. So, I'm not against what Trump said. I do agree with him. I think it's just one of the things of, like, because of his presidency, because of who he is, I feel it's one of those things of, like, he kind of got to step back a little bit. Just because of this all, because it does impl impl implicate the case a little bit. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. And maybe I'm a son of a bitch. I don't know, that's how I feel. Anyways, I'm going to end this on that. So, as always, folks, I I've said this once, I'll say it again. I'll say it I'm fucking blue in the face. I'm your host, the Pretty Pretty Princess. Spread the peace and love. Don't be an asshole. And until next week, folks. Bye.